All right. Okay, we're back again with part three with this trimming. I'm actually gonna try um, trimming this part here. I gotta, I gotta do this part here. All yeah, right. I'm just gonna trace it out for you. Yeah, trace it out and then I'll, I'll give it a try. As long as, yeah. Should be able to see that, eh? Oh yeah, I can see that. Oh. Yeah, it's take your time, right? Yeah. Right, there's no rush. There's no rush. No. Cause it's cause if you if you rush it then like that's yeah, not good. Gives you a rough idea where it's going, eh? Yep. So I have to cut along there and yeah. they'll yeah, they'll be it. Head. Same on that side. Alright. I'll uh I don't know, I'll do that right now. Alright, so Let's give this a try. I did the um, trial as you can see. There's a little cut down there, right? That's right. Yeah. So um, I was gonna keep on continuing. My dad made a mark here, all the way around, and I had to do the same on the other side. But once I got this side done, then um, then I'll do the other one. Oh. It's gonna be tricky to cut around. Oh, f hold on. I'm having trouble okay, cutting. Okay, well. Yeah, okay, so we just figured out that we use a curve no, knife, no, uh, scissors here. Like even this part here, right? A little curve there, then there's Another one there, then another one there, so I have to do uh, three of those. So, yeah, let's just uh, keep on uh, trimming. Oh wow, it's going a lot quicker now. That should be good, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and then I just... Is it this way? I can't this remember way. now. That's the way the curve goes. Take your time, gently. Yeah, this is a little small, but... That should be good. Well, I'll just take that straight up. Or just straight up? Yep. Looks like it's coming off there. There you go, that's garbage now. Recycle. Yep. Alright, now this side. And you'll you'll really have to film this by the way, because okay. it's it's roughly the same idea. Okay. And I think that's about it. All the extra stuff, I'll probably do that off camera. So yeah. Then I'll get back to you guys when this is done. Then we just gotta put this on this chassis here, just to see if it all fits, and uh, that should be good. So, yeah, come back to you guys later. All right, and uh, before we oh, do nice. all kinds of trim in there, we actually gotta just lower this body pulse down because it's way too high. So, because that's the star for the defender, right? So, oh. we just had to lower it down. <laughs> Not thinking. That's the star? Yeah. Yeah, you have to find the right size for it. Oh, who's that? I don't know. 
I'm thinking that's it. Hopefully it's... Oh, it's John's kids. Yeah, John's kids already came back. Okay, you want me to do this? I think I can do it. You want to do her? Mm -hmm. Make sure that's the right size now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I can... I can do it just by, like, you sand it down. Like this? Yeah, just set it like that, and I can see better. Alright, so I moved two screws, right? I think so. Okay, here's the video mount. Pulse is already off, and... We just gotta figure out what height should be the best. Okay. I don't know. Are you gonna move this? Yeah, move it. I like so. Because the front one is good. That can leave it. But. Just. Da -da -da -da. See what it looks like. Wow. Oh, that's the antenna. The antenna? Oh, crap. Maybe we can just. We can move the body pulse a little bit out. That way the antenna won't be. um sticking on there, right? Like that? Uh, I think so. Well, I'm not really sure, but I just gotta see what it looks like. Yeah, we can always just put it down too, right? Yeah, tuck it down. Somewhere. Yeah, just for now. Mm-hmm. <coughs> that looks pretty cool. Like, just... Because those are stock tires, but I I may I may switch them out to the classic tires, yeah. maybe because look looks just look more realistic and look more real. Mm-hmm. It's an antenna that's a big problem. Yeah, I'm thinking like I'll just put a little zip thing there just to hold it there for now. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, let's see here. What we got. Use one of these ones. Oh yeah, I recognize those. We used to have that for the sound kit, eh? Exactly. Screw it on the cops. Oh no. Oh, by the way, I just got Connor's text. He says, "Yep, yep." Like he said, "Yep" two times. Yep, yep. Why is that closed? No, sorry, open. I I meant to say. So I'm just gonna put this in here ever so gently, just like that. Yeah, gently, just don't like. Yeah, see? Perfect. All right, now you can give it a try. That in front of the bumper? Yeah, you want it about there. Yeah. Let's see, over this side. Well, we just have to move the bumper a little bit out. Then you get, right, cause, cause you can move. You can just pull, up, pull it out a little bit. That way it will fit. Oh yeah? Yeah, it gets the bumper. Mm -hmm. Like I can show you how, but I yeah, because it's still good. If you want it to sit on there, it's got to go down a little more. Down, body's got to go down a little more. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would say lower down a little, a little more. Yeah, until it's sitting here, right? Yeah, and I think it's a little bit off. This this part. Oh, look. It's a little off. Like we have it about there. Oh, that looks even better right there. Yeah. And this one here, you might have to just trim that point off of there a little bit. Yeah. Okay. It could, well, it would come up ahead a bit. But yeah. So, like, what do you guys think of it? Looks pretty, it's pretty look, good so far. Looks looks different from the Defender, eh? Yeah. Huge for difference. Sure. But the only thing I gotta do is figure it out if I need to cut this mm. to a certain length because mm -hmm. it has to be almost the same height as the front yeah right because I think what they did they just cut it, cut it off but they just leave this tall right mm -hmm. so yeah <laughs> so um yeah come out to you guys when there's an update okay so there's a lot of changes right now so this is a big update that I did with this beast looking machine so I, I already went ahead and I did this off camera I already installed this sound kit here and um, we were trying to figure out how the heck 
can we mount this sound kit onto the frame? Because the guy at the hobby shop, he said you can really literally just set the sound kit right on the, um, on the frame. So that way, that way it's nice and level and stuff. I did put this on. Actually, my dad put this on for me because I, I was having a bit of a trouble of um, putting this on. Let like like this flat piece on top. Reason why that's on because there'll be a piece of um, uh, velcro right here. I think this, so it will put this over top, over top like that, and then there'll be two pieces of um, uh, velcro, just one here and one there. So two pieces like on here. There'll be one across here, and that's basically it. So, so that will. That's basically how I will uh, mount this um, pickup truck on there. So, uh, and yeah. And with the body, big changes. We did a lot of trimming. Like we did so much. Like look at this. We even did one across here, and then this one that goes up and around and like we did on an angle cut straight across and down oh there's my dad hello hi how are you pretty good i just tell the viewers about that uh, we did big changes to this body oh, yeah. it's the same on this side here as you can see the it's cut a little bit differently the reason why is because sometimes oh shoot that was me <laughs> sometimes sometimes the body will Actually, the tiles will keep on rubbing the body, so that's why we have to cut a lot of it and stuff. The same on this one here. And, uh, yeah. As you can see, the front is almost basically the same as the back, like this. That little uh, rectangle down there, and see on the back. The reason why is because when you set the body on, it actually goes through this piece down here there's one like right here like this part and then one down there same on this side on the back see this this part here that goes over top so literally go like that so now as you can see it literally just goes right flushed with the back bumper right there and then normally I just kind of push it against the back bumper now it's like that so, pretty good. And uh, same with the front. Oh, oh, little battery. I just basically push this against the front bumper. And uh, yeah, that is basically it. Very cool looking truck. Um, actually, what I would do is I want to uh, remove this square piece here. That's what the guy at the hobby shop suggested. So I'm gonna do that right now. And, uh, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so I just removed the front bumper square, I should say, right here. So before it was on like this. I can't remember where it was now, but... So, um, yeah, that's removed there. And... Um, so, yeah, that's really it about this truck. Looks very mean, eh? And plus, it is clear body for now, but I am getting the paint soon. I have no idea when it's going to come, but the guy at the hobby store will tell me. He will give me a call. So, uh, yeah, that's really it for this video. Quite long, because we did a lot of trimming and stuff, but I should have recorded that. I'm so sorry, guys, but we were busy. Go, go, go. So, yeah, probably next video, we will fix this um, big gap here. As you can see, it's literally like a 3 millimeter gap. So, if I had to fix that. And see on the other side there. And uh, I think that's really it. Um, yeah, so that's all for today. And um, see you guys in, in the next uh, part.